Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to defend. So over here, I have QRadar running. So QRadar is a security monitoring platform that can actually help you monitor for potential cyber attacks across the enterprise network, or even to look at what are the cyber attacks that you want to test out in your lab environment. So we've gone through a number of videos about using QRadar for security monitoring. So in today's topic, of course, right here, we are in the dashboard. And in the dashboard, we can see all this different information. So of course, directly, we have the first dashboard. And we have all these different dashboarding capabilities of the overview, the widgets, and all this different data. So one of those key things that we want to share today is actually on threat intelligence. All right, so over here, I've downloaded an application. And uh, this application is called Threat Intelligence. So what it does is that it actually provides threat intelligence feeds into your QRadar security monitoring platform. And after which you have those data and you can search directly from here for public collections. So what exactly do I mean by that? So when I go back into what we call the IBM Security App Exchange, so this is a link that you can actually get and install applications into your QRadar. And this makes it a lot more versatile and you can add a lot more features and integrate with different security platforms so that you have a bird's eye view a single management console for all of the security setup in your environment so over here we have gone through a number of applications so this is the place for you to actually download all these apps into your curator so one of those apps that we'll be introducing to you today is actually threat intelligence so all i got to do is enter threat intelligence Okay, and we go ahead and hit enter on that. So on the second app we have over here. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. All right, so let me read it a little more for you. All right, so this is a threat intelligence that allows you to pull in any threat intelligence feed uh, using open standard elastic and taxi formats. And then after which we can use this to develop rules for correlation in your curator security monitor platform. So for example, if there is a bad IP address, IP address of a botnet command and control server, maybe residing in some other parts of the world, we'll be able to actually contextualize that by pulling those threat intelligence being able to support your curator and then telling you, doing a search on it, are any of your computers already connected to this particular IP address, which is running a botnet command and control server. So that helps you speed up the process of correlating, contextualizing the current security landscape by pulling all this threat intelligence. And of course, the threat intelligence feeds come from many security researchers who are investigating globally what is happening, which are the latest blacklisted IP addresses, and so on and so forth. So this is a way for us to actually flag out if there are any of this malicious activities going on and even on indicators of compromise and and so on all right so we have a lot of version updates so this is uh, again also having a support over here as you can see all right so we can look at all this additional information and we can look at a very nice um, graphical user interface all right so going back into the threat intelligence app so over here, we have the public collections, all right? So we can look at the viewing of collection. So we have, for example, like check IP, we have IBM security site protector, uh, Mac malware bypassing security checks. So we have a lot of such data. So for example, under check IP, I can go in and click on view collection. Okay, so this would bring us into the X-Force uh, under IBM Cloud, all right? So X-Force Exchange. And we can look at the different kind of collection being created, okay? So we can have the indicators of compromise that we mentioned earlier. We can have the recommendations, all right? And then we can look on the right side, okay? We can look on the right side and we have all these different IP addresses. So you can go ahead and click on them. So for example, if I click onto the second one, so there's a report captured on September 2nd, 2020. All right, so go and click on that. Okay, so this will load up the information and we can look at the X-Force IP report. So we got IP address over here. Okay, and then we have the regional internet registry. So all this information has already been investigated, has been analyzed by the security researchers. So, and as you scroll down further, it gives you all this different data. Okay, so we can click under here, report capture, and we can click on view current report. So go ahead and click on that. So this will bring up the information from X-Force Exchange regarding this particular IP address. 
All right, so again, if your devices are connecting into any specific IP address, maybe you're seeing a hundred, a thousand of your laptops suddenly are all connecting to one particular IP address and you want to search that up so you can actually use it under your Curator Threat Intelligence or you can come to the IBM X Force Exchange to actually search up the application, the IP address, the URL, the vulnerability, the MD5 value, and all these different tags. So over here, as you can see from the bottom, did you know that we have an API? Yes, so I have already integrated that application programming interface into Curator through the Threat Intelligence app. So that makes it a lot easier for you to just use one single app to actually search up for all these public collections. And the next item I want to share with you is actually under the IBM Advanced Threat Protection feed. So go ahead and click on that. All right, so it's downloading. And again, over here, we have the feed categories and we have like cryptocurrency mining. Okay, so we have cryptocurrency mining information and we have um, the malware information as well. And then we have the reference set that we can actually download directly. Okay, and then we can look at the IPv4 malware, total indicators count. We have the total indicators count for malware as well, 17,149 of them. And we have botnet command and control server. So again, we, likewise, IPv4, IPv6, we can download those data. And on the right side, we have the URLs. Okay, so we have botnet command and control server. Okay, so we can turn on or off the subscription status easily directly from the Threat Intelligence Feed app. And we can just download them from the reference set very, very quickly. All right, anonymization services, early warning, bots, scanning IP address, and so on. So the list goes on. And the whole idea is to directly from your curator platform, be able to get those data and be able to perform your investigation. All right, so this is a great way for us to very, very quickly be able to detect threats, detect indicators inside your environment and be able to prepare against them. All right, so once again, I hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.